You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. So Dame Dash has broken his silence on his mentee and industry little brother, Ye. And his recent rents and positions. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Dame Dash uh, was at the Young Entrepreneur Solutions, yes, National Business Plan Challenge in St. Crocs. And an audience member asked him about Kanye West and what's going on with him. And he responded, You think Brother turns off, yeah, I'm in contact with him. It's draining, but you know he's bipolar. The executive continued, and people forget that. I don't care how rich you are. When you have a chemical imbalance, you're going to say some crazy things. Um, so he also said that you don't put him in front of a camera. You put them in the house to the hospital. But what happens with him? He explained to the small group in the movie theater that some of the symptoms someone who is bipolar actually goes through sharing, they say the most outlandish things. When you are triggered, there's a chemical imbalance. And also when you are tired, it's like being drunk. He informed the group. Um, he also said how painful it is to see Kanye like this and how he signed him in the early 2000s to Rockefeller Records. But you know, I know him, I do talk to him and I try. It's painful to watch because someone bipolar with a billion, a bunch of people that don't care, it's not a good formula. You know, people should be more worried about his health than worried about what he says. He's already admitted that he was bipolar. He would be in a straight jacket in front of everybody. Um, and he also reprimanded the fans who edged him on and affirmed some of the things he says during the, um, his maniac moments. Why don't you listen to somebody bipolar before he says things they are triggering? Um, you know what it takes for Kanye to say he is tired. He has to go um, gorilla shit, <laughs> nearly be hallucinating. He don't sleep. I'm going to tell you. And he also said at the end that. So, you know, we're going through it, but, you know, I'm more mad at everybody that's just not worried about his health. Man tell you, tells you he's sick. Then he stated that long time ago and he started to act sick because he's rich. Y'all listen to him. If he is not, it's sad. Um, Do I feel Kanye West is really, you know, has mental issues? I mean, we all have mental issues to a certain degree. What I mean mental issues is if we all going through something. It can be from childhood trauma, adult trauma, teenage trauma, whatever. It can be something could be triggering to everybody. So I'm not going to say he doesn't have that. I'm never going to say he's just 100% clean. I think he cloud chases a lot. I think he wants attention. I think he's looking to be, you know, having that, his ego massage. And he's always been arrogant since he came out. With the college dropout of 2004, if you listen to Kanye West mixtapes, like when he was trying to promote himself to get his buzz going, he had like freestyles and like, you know, songs coming out in 2002 and 2003. And I was like, damn, look at Kanye. But he was very, very arrogant the way he was talking. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So this ain't nothing new. I just feel like the money has changed him to be who he is. And when we see the world as far as like, oh, He's saying this. He, he wasn't going to say this if he didn't have the money. He wasn't going to say all these crazy things we didn't like about disrespecting George Floyd, George Floyd's legacy as far as him passing away. When I mean legacy is to his family, who he was to them. You know, disrespecting slavery was a choice. I understand that people took that snippet of that clip out of more of what he was saying. Yes, about the music industries and people having a choice to sign their life over as a contract to a contract and be controlled and not have your masters. Yes. So I feel like some things I understand where he's coming from when I listen to a full interview of him, not just snippets of clips they put out on social media, but I still feel like he's cloud chasing. Not saying 
he's well aware of what's going on in the world. Yes, he is, but he's still cloud chasing to a certain degree. Is he bipolar? I'm not a doctor or a psychologist. I can actually, you know, evaluate him to say that. So that's not my expertise. But y'all let me know what you think. Post your comments below. Hope smash. Like Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.